A couple weeks ago, Microsoft released the new Xbox Store built for the ground up for Xbox Series X as well as Xbox One. I finally have my hands on it. I'm going to give you guys a full walkthrough showing you guys what's new and how much the store is improved over the previous version. Let's get into it. What is going on everybody? It's Randall Thor19, the man with the million, back again with another video. Hope everyone's having a great day and if you guys could do me a big favor, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and share this out on social media. I appreciate all the support. Thank you very much guys. So as promised, here is my full walkthrough of the new Xbox store. I have it because I'm a member of the Insider Program and if you are not a member of the Insider Program, this store should be available to you by the end of the year. Now one of the things I want to mention is this store really focuses on speed, especially compared to the previous version. So I'm just going to go right in the store and you guys will see it right away. Look at that. Look how instantaneous it was to load up the store and it's pretty much like that throughout the entire experience. You can see the font and the design style has completely changed. We got ultimate game sale going on in this tab. We got some in-game events here. We have an ad here, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, but we're going to take a look at everything. So on the column on the left, you have things that you can search for. You have your home, which is your deals and subscriptions. You have all the games, basically add-on subscriptions, new games coming soon, top paid, top free, most popular, and game specials. Obviously movie and TV with new movie releases, top rented movies, features movies, browse TV and movies and TV specials. We have all the apps, entertainment apps, apps for gamers, popular apps, popular music apps, apps with trials and new apps. And then hardware where you can actually buy the Xbox console, the controllers, the headsets and the accessories. And we're going to be taking a look at all this stuff. Now we even have the wish list. And right now when I go into it, I have nothing there. But as I go through individual games, we will add stuff to the wish list so we see how it performs. And we also have a cart here on the bottom left. I don't think I have anything in my cart, but I will add some things that I might buy to show you guys how that works out. We have the redeem button here. So if you actually want to redeem a code, you can do that. I don't have any codes to redeem right now. And then we have settings where you can actually disable the motion. So it disables all motion for video. We have autoplay video, which is on by default, but I can toggle it on and off pretty easily. And you also have autoplay sound, which is off by default. You just press the button to turn it on. And when the trailers show up, you'll hear the sound. Um, it's pretty interesting, but I usually keep it off. So we're going to start off right at home. We're going to go to the deals and we're going to take a look at the ultimate game sale. We're going to go in here and see some of the games and see how the store works. Save up to 65% on select Xbox games and you can save 10% more if you're an ultimate and gold member. So we're going to go down to Call of Duty Modern Warfare and this is pretty much the experience for every game on the service, even movies and apps. You have the title Call of Duty Modern Warfare Digital. You have the ratings on the store 955 with two stars. It's a bunch meaning once you click on this there'll be different versions and it's in the genre of shooter and it says it includes Call of Duty Modern Warfare and it's currently on sale for $38.99 35% off with Xbox Live Gold now if I go back up and go back down I can press start here and you know what I'm gonna autoplay the sound and the sound for the trailer will be playing don't want the sound playing for everything so i'm going to turn it off but you can see when you go down here the trailers play really quickly and that's what this store experience is all about it's speed and getting you the information that you want so we're going to click on call of duty modern warfare and it gives you a nice little breakdown here it's 38 dollars you can click choose edition to see all the different versions that are available war zones for free and here's the other two you can press b to go back we're going to add it to my wish list it's pretty easy we can buy it as a gift for somebody and it's going to load up the screen where i can do that so i can choose anybody in my friends list to send it to or i can enter their email address and they'll get a code we're going to go back here and I'm going to add it to the cart just to see. So it's basically added to my cart. I can either view the cart or I can keep shopping. We're going to back off and we're going to go to Red Dead Redemption 2. Trailer plays. You can see all the information at the top. And it is in Game Pass. You can see there in each game that is in Game Pass will have that kind of banner at the top left. It's on sale for $29.99. So when you click on this one, it shows you all the different bundles. You have the regular version of Red Dead, which just includes Red Dead. You have the special edition, which includes the special content for $63. And you have the ultimate edition and it shows you what that includes as well so we're going to add the ultimate edition we're going to go into here we see all the information like we did with modern warfare and then when you go down into details you see who it's published by who's it's developed by the age rating the size of the game the category it's in the release date a kind of little tidbit about what the game is you have the capabilities which just says xbox live and there's some more info here and you go down here to screenshots you just press a to bring them up and then right and left on the d-pad or whatever to scroll through them you have any videos that the publisher decided to upload for the game you go down even more you have the ratings and reviews which is 3.9 with 8218 ratings 
61% five star, 8% four star, 7% three star. You can basically scroll through and look at every single rating the game has. You can like or dislike any of these and flag them as like offensive potentially. Yeah, this store is so much better, so much smoother, and it gives you all the information in just a better way than the previous store. And if you go down one more tab, it'll show you the other additions. Now we're gonna back out of the Ultimate Game Sale. We're gonna go back to home and you can see it has the tab here for subscriptions. So when you click on that, we have Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. You can search Game Pass, redeem deals with gold. Game Pass Ultimate here again, some games that are in the service. You can scroll by really quickly. I'm still amazed by just how fast this stuff is. You can press start for the quick actions, which is immediately adding it to your wish list or auto playing the video or the sound. And since we're here, you know what? I'm gonna go over to what game? We're gonna go over to No Man's Sky. You know what? We're gonna go over to Sea of Thieves. I'm gonna press the start button. I'm gonna add it to the wish list there. You can see at the top right, you have also X for C All 99 Plus, which is all the games. So we're gonna press X and we're gonna go into Game Pass Ultimate. And you can scroll down for all these different games. You can click into them and it'll be just like anything else. DayZ, you can install it because I own it in Game Pass. Well, I actually own this game. You can buy it as a gift. You can see all the different versions. There's a little description there. Scroll down, here's something from the developer. These are all kind of posts uh, from the Game Hub, it looks like. Details on the game, screenshots of the game, videos of the game, you guys kind of get it, right? Look at how many trailers DayZ uploaded compared to Red Dead Redemption. So you can see what it's included in. Here's DayZ regular and here's DayZ in another edition of the game. Ratings and reviews, which apparently only got a 2.1, that's not very high. And people also like these other games. Here's PUBG, here's State of Decay 2, here's Conan. So that's Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, you scroll down to Xbox Live Gold. There's the free games right here. Not much really there to look at. You scroll down, there's EA Access and all the games there. You can press X to see all the games in EA Access, which is a lot of them. And if you scroll down one more, there's other subscriptions. There's Game Pass for the console games. There's the Elder Scrolls Online subscription as well as Fallout First. So any more subscriptions that would be added would be placed here. And we go over to games, and for some reason it starts off at add-ons, which I think is really weird. I think it really should start off with games. Here's some top free add-ons that they list, one for the Dark Pictures Anthology, one for Rocket League, something for Mortal Kombat 10. Here's some top paid add-ons, something for Fortnite. So if you click into that, it tells you, hey, it's $4, but this content requires a game. And it tells you what it works with, but I've had enough of these auto-playing videos, so I'm going to turn them off completely. We're going to go back here. We're gonna see, well, all right, we're gonna go back to games. We're gonna go down to new games. We're gonna check out this, loads up really quickly. What do we have here? UFC 4, it's a new release. It's an action adventure. It's $53.99, of course, $60 with EA Access. You go into this and it's just a much better browsing experience on the store. You can buy the game, you can get the free trial with EA Access. I'm gonna add it to my wish list. I am going to add it to the cart and it's really that simple. So I have UFC 4 in the cart and I think I also have another game in there. So we'll view that in a minute. We're gonna keep on shopping. We're gonna scroll down. There's all the details. There's all the screenshots. There's the trailers. There's posts from the developers. Here's all the different ratings. Here's all the add-ons for the game. And here's some other games that people like within kind of the genre. So we're just gonna look at one more thing within games. We're gonna go to coming soon. Take a look at all the games that are coming out in a couple months. I'm gonna scroll down until I find Cyberpunk 2077 because I am gonna click on that. You can see it's $59. I'm gonna add it to my wish list. I'm gonna add it to my cart. That's three games there. All the details, all the screenshots, the trailers and all that stuff. You guys know how it works. But man, I really enjoy browsing this store way more than I ever did browsing the other store. We also have Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I'm gonna press start on this and I can just add it to the wish list. I don't even need to go into it. It's just boom, right on the wish list. I wish I could just press the start button and buy this game without having to delve into the other menus. Like if I knew I was getting Far Cry 6 and I press start, I think it would be nice to have a little option there to actually buy the game right away or add it to the cart instead of just adding it to the wish list. Or maybe that's not feasible because kids might accidentally buy a game or something, but that was just one thing I noticed. And then we got movies and TVs. We're gonna go look at the new movie releases. It's set up just like the game. Games. Here's the brand new movies. There's the price. We're gonna go into Deep Blue Sea. We're gonna see what it offers. Came out in 2020. It's an action adventure horror. It's one hour and 40 minutes long. It has English audio with 187 ratings. So like three and a quarter stars. I can buy it in high definition for 15 or I can rent it in HD. I can choose my format, high definition or standard def. And I think it does change the price there. It's $15 there. Actually didn't change the price. I'm gonna add it to my wish list. 
We got the details of the movie. We have screenshots of the movie. And if there was a trailer, which I guess there's not, or actually you press up to go to the trailer and it would show it to you. So we're gonna back out. We're gonna go to the main menu and we are gonna go to apps. Here's the entertainment apps. We have uh, the top ones, Disney Plus, which I actually own. I mean, you guys can see it, right? You got the details, you got the screenshots. Like this store is so much better than the previous one. We're gonna go back out to the main menu, the hardware, Xbox consoles. We're gonna click on this and look, I can buy the Xbox One S for 300 bucks or a refurbished two terabyte one for 289. And there's the Xbox Series X. I'm gonna click on that because I haven't seen this before. So it says introducing Series X or fastest, most powerful console ever designed for a console generation that is you, the player at its center, available holiday 2020. It's not currently available, but it does have free shipping and free returns. Here's some details on it and more info. Obviously it's not out yet. I think they should add trailers and stuff like that to get people really excited for it. But if I wanted to buy a console, let's say this Star Wars bundle right here, but then again, like all the Xbox consoles are essentially sold out. So let's take a look at some of the Xbox controllers and see if any of them are in stock and show you guys how that would work. The Razer KC for Android, which is for xCloud. I'm gonna click on that. Of course it says it's out of stock. So I'm gonna add it to my wish list. We're gonna look at, let's see, what's a controller here? The Xbox wireless controller, Phantom Magenta, and that's add to cart. So I'm gonna add that to my cart. I'm gonna keep on shopping. And then we're gonna back out and I think we have the wish list. So I did add some stuff to my wish list. As you guys can see, here's all the things. Gives you a nice little side menu, but if I wanted to delve deeper, I could press into it. I made my wish list private and it has seven items. I can click this settings button. It's a private wish list, or do you wanna make it public? And notifications, get notified when we have special deals for you and when items from your wish list go on sale, you can turn notifications on or off. It says, note, this wish list shows you only items that are available in this console store. To view all the items in your wish list, visit store.microsoft.com. So I'm gonna make this public, I'm gonna have notifications on. So I guess if people wanted to buy me something, they could look at my wish list and buy me a game. Or if I really wanted to buy a game like Cyberpunk 2077, but I don't wanna buy it at $60, if that ever went on sale, Xbox would notify me that the price dropped. And one of the last things we're gonna take a look at is the cart. You see it pulls out a side menu with all the things I added in this video, four items in my cart, $222.96. I really like how it just shows you that information right away and you don't have to go into your cart to see it but we're gonna go into the cart we're gonna see everything here's my order summary like I said $222.96 for all this stuff and if I want to remove something there you go I'm gonna remove Call of Duty I'm gonna remove UFC but I want to keep cyberpunk and the wireless controller but if I do want to add them I still can even though they are removed you can see it changed to $129 and once I press checkout that's where I would go to buy the game at the top is the search bar you can just click on it here type something in you can actually continue browsing on the left hand side like if you're in the movies and TV or apps and you just want to search something you can press Y you come up to here and this will search throughout all of Xbox so not only games but movies I'm gonna type in alien just to kind of show that off and it should show like the alien isolation game as well as the alien movies another thing that this store did was actually bring all the 360 games from the old store and put them in the new one so when you actually look at a 360 game you could actually buy it to own because if you remember if you tried buying a 360 game on the xbox one it would bring you to the old store you can actually add it to your wish list you can buy it as a gift which you couldn't do before or you can add to your cart to buy it alongside everything else and it has all the same stuff as the xbox one games the details capabilities the more info screenshots if it has any of those all the different ratings and reviews the add-ons for the games and also kind of recommendations for other games like it so my final thoughts on the new store are that it is a massive and huge improvement over the previous one kudos to everybody at xbox who put this together it looks much better speed is a major focus i like the improvements to the wish list as well as adding things to your cart so let me know what you think about this brand new store in the comments below and as always if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like and subscribe button share this out on social media or tell a friend about the channel hit that notification bell if you always want to be notified right away whenever i drop a new video hit that join button if you want to take your support even further and get access to channel badges and emotes for the xbox 2 podcast thank you guys so much for watching the video it truly means so much to me and i'll see everyone in the next video later guys